Hmm. What's this? Oh, why, it appears that the women's only media division of the Sci-Fi Network is closing down because it's unsustainable. Why, who could have seen that coming? Hmm. I hope the geek girls are doing okay. Wait, what? No! If you're enjoying this content, hit that subscribe button. Join us. <laughs> Welcome to Comic Artist Pro Secrets. I'm Ethan Mad Skyver, 27 year veteran of the comic book industry, world's most charming, elegant, eloquent, and yet humble man. Great big Star Wars fan, trusted member of the media. That's right, we're the media. We're not going anywhere. Uh, but I'm afraid fangirls, sci fi fangirls, uh, is. Geek like a girl. Uh, they just announced, uh, very sadly, that they're closing down for uh, insolvency. Uh, they've, they've had to cut some fat. They've spent too much money. Lost too much money. Uh, not enough money's coming in. That's weird. Uh, and they left this note today. Thank you for being a friend. Uh, you're welcome. Uh, today, we're sad to say that we're ending publications from Sci-Fi Fangirls. Oh, good. Are you telling me there won't be any more articles uh, about how Star Wars fans are toxic uh, there won't be any more nonsense about Kelly Marie Tran being chased uh, off the internet by uh, harassers, toxic Star Wars fans. There won't be any... Uh, oh, uh, are you going to revoke the blue check marks from your staff, your fangirl staff, the ones that have been calling for Gina Carano to get fired? Um, yeah, well, let me know. I want to know more of the fallout from uh, from this. Um, but in any case, uh, we're so proud of all the work we've been able to do for you for the past four years. Uh, we're incredibly honored uh, to have been a space for people who otherwise don't get the space or recognition to have their voices heard. Well, having your voice heard is expensive. Uh, and that is the problem. I mean, it is expensive. And maybe if you uh, invested your money a little bit more wisely, like in... I don't know, like good TV shows or something like that for the Sci-Fi Network. Take all the money, the all, all the money that you have for fangirls, uh, and invest it in something that uh, is going to actually uh, bring a return, a return on your investment. Uh, and then maybe this could have been a sustainable. Oh, you did try to do that. Oh, my my mistake. Vagrant Queen uh, canceled at Sci-Fi. Oh no, Max Visaggio's TV show. This was pretty expensive uh, for a small time uh, operation. Uh, so it looks like you sunk all your all your money into Vagrant Queen here. Uh, you took Mags Visaggio, uh, who is uh, an unsellable writer and yet strangely uh, prolific and all over the place. I mean, keeps getting work even though nobody nobody reads Mags uh, stuff. Uh, and yet uh, a TV show was made, right? You guys invested your money in uh, Vagrant Queen. Uh, and uh, okay, so the rookie drama and acquired co-production co-production from the cabler struggled to find an audience uh, struggled to find an audience and so uh, they had to uh, they had to close it down you don't say this is all such a shock to me uh, sci-fi has opted to cancel the space drama based on the vault comic we all love vault comics i mean this is, if we're gonna list all of my favorite vault comics uh vagrant queen would be at the top uh, after just one season, canceled the series from creator and showrunner Jem Garrard. Where's Mags' name? Did they even mention Mags in this article? At all? See, that's the that's the real kick in the balls, isn't it, Mags? When uh, you know you uh, your show gets picked up uh, by the Sci-Fi Network on behalf of uh, fangirls, uh, and uh, you know uh, you don't even get mentioned in the article in the Hollywood Reporter. What a disaster! So in any case. Uh, yes, um, now we find ourselves heartbroken, but thankful we had the opportunity to share the best of what geek culture can be with all of you. And I guess that was Vagrant Queen, uh, which struggled to find an audience. Remember, uh, geek like a girl. That's right, spend money that you don't have until you're insolvent, and then the men will pick it up from there. <laughs> so this is just a quick video. Uh, I just wanted to pour one out for fangirls, geek like a girl. Uh, and uh, let you guys know this. Uh, if you enjoyed this video and want more content like this, want me to keep you update with stuff that's going on uh, in pop culture, 
Well, why not like this video, share this video, but most importantly, well, at least to me, uh, subscribe to my channel and hit that bell for notifications. We're beating YouTube's algorithm. They're, they're trying to suppress channels like mine, uh, but because of you, because of what we're doing together here, we are actually overcoming and this channel is growing at a steady rate pretty quickly. Uh, and that's all because of you. Thank you so much. Uh, and now, uh, here's an ad for a comic book project that actually does sell. Cyberfrog, warts and all, ending in just three days. So back it soon. Thanks, everyone. Hey Indiegogo backers, it's Cyberfrog, warts and all, the complete collection of every Cyberfrog comic from the 1990s in one hardcover omnibus collection. More than 328 pages of frog fun gathered together for the first time ever for one low price, with plenty of amazing stretch goal bonuses to keep fans jumping. Back it today, only on Indiegogo. Hey, I got a P.O. Box. Want to send me some mail? Send it to Ethan Van Skyver, P.O. Box 607, Marlton, New Jersey, 08053. And I'll probably open it up on the live stream. Thanks very much, everyone. Hey, want to follow me on Twitter? Are you sure? Well, if so, I'm at Ethan Van Skyver. That's at Ethan Van Skyver. See you there.